Uh, my daughter, she asked me to talk about Shahnameh uh, with you, a book written by Ferdowsi during the Ghazni dynasty at around 1,000 years ago. Uh, this book can be compared uh, to two epic poems, uh, Iliad and Odyssey by Homer. Uh, however, uh, Homer's, uh, Homer's stories about the Trojan Wars and Greek, hero, uh, Greek heroes such as Achilles. Uh, as for me, it would uh, take me weeks to tell you all the stories in Shahnameh. Uh, it is uh, translated into many languages uh, and I advise you to read it yourself and uh, I have my reasons to why you should uh, read the stories rather than I tell you. You see, each person has different understanding reading uh, Shahnameh or in uh, any other book. And I will give you my understanding of Shahnameh very briefly. Shahnameh consists of uh, three different, uh, let us say, ingredients, parts. Uh, history, myth, and legend. It is written in such a way that you cannot tell which part is real and which part is myth. Now, let me go straight to the core of the Shahnameh and tell you the role of our hero Rostam and his horse Rakhsh and the enemies of Iran. Of course, uh, it is a bit exaggerated or a lot exaggerated and exaggeration is not always a bad thing and I tell you why. Uh, if you watch a comedy or hear a joke there is a lot of exaggeration which makes it funny. It brings out the ridicule and we laugh at the ridicule uh, situation. Uh, Feridun was the king of Sal, west of Iran, Iran, and Tur, east of uh, Iran. At the end of his life, he decides to split his kingdom between his three sons, Sal, Iraj, and Tur. He gives, uh, Ira uh, he gives Iran to Iraj and the two other countries to Salm and Tur. Salm and Tur are very jealous and plot to invade Iran. Rostam, who serves Iran, has to defend Iran against Salm and Tur. 